Hello, I'm Atuba Judd. Now, we just have two days to the end of 2019. Now, how has the year been to you? Now, I know at this, at, at this time, you know, lots of people are taking stock. I mean, serious-minded people, you know, they are taking stock and they are beginning to look towards 2019 and, and asking the Lord, what, what's in there for me? And, and some are judging if God's word have come to pass or not. But listen, you know, the thing about God and prophecy, for example, you're thinking, oh, in, the, in January, God told me it's going to be a year of this. Has it really been a year of that? Now, two things I, I need you to understand here. The fact that your pastor came up to say that this year is going to be a year, of, for example, by 31st tomorrow now and, and tomorrow ninth service, you're going to be hearing a lot, you know, it's going to be a year of this, it's going to be a year of that. Going to... Now, it's not just a theme. See, you need to understand this. It's not just a theme. It's not just, oh, it's a year of brightness. And if you're, oh, okay, we hold on to that word. No, you need as an individual to go to the Lord and begin to seek him for yourself. Now, what your pastor got from the Lord is based on the journey he's been going with the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, so when he says this year is going to be year, the year of this, he is speaking in terms of the work that God has called him to do. Now, you as an individual need to step aside and take out time to seek the mind of God and know what God, because this is how God functions. I'll read something to you in Isaiah chapter 20, 28 and verse 9 and 10. It says, whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? He's asking that question and he gave the answer. He says, them that are weaned from milk and drawn from the breast. Now look at verse 10. Verse 10 says, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Now this is how heaven functions heaven doesn't function you know in a zigzag manner god doesn't just wake up and say oh okay mm, you please me today i'm going to do something good for you no sir i'll tell you the truth that's the reason anytime god speaks to you if you hear the voice of god and and god speaks to you you're going to always hear god speak in past tense for example god said to abraham i have made you a father of many nations. He didn't say, I will make you a father of many. He said, I have made you. When did he make him a father of many nations? I'll tell you when. Before the world began. Praise God. Oh, yes. Because you, you need to get this. And I've said this in several broadcasts. You need to just understand one thing. God created you on the sixth day of his creation. He, he, that's the day he wrote the book of life. You need to understand that. That's the day he wrote everything about you. That's the day he spoke it into being. You say me, but I wasn't born there. Yes. Yes. He spoke everything. He spoke your name. He spoke about you. He spoke about where you will be born. He spoke about how, how, whatever, all the things about your life. He spoke about it on the sixth day of his creation. He said, what are you talking about? Oh, yes, that's the truth. Remember, the Bible says the book of life was written when? From the foundation of the world. See? So, so if your name is in the book of life, it means everything about your life. Now, here was Abraham standing before the Lord. No child. He's old. His wife is old. And then God says to him, I have made you a father of many nations. What, what do you think God was doing? Making him a promise? No. God was telling him truth. And all God does now, now you need to understand. You see, when the Spirit of God is dealing with us, He is not dealing with us from what He thinks. He is not dealing with us reacting to what we have done. He is dealing with us based on what God has said. You need to understand this. That's why Jesus said of the Holy Spirit, He will not speak of Himself, but He shall take of mine and He shall reveal it to you. What does He do? He takes of what God has said. That all the plan of God for your life that God have finished before the world began. That's where the Holy Spirit brings forth. That's why he speaks in past tense. 
You understand this? So, so God dealing with you is going to be precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. But let me assure you of one thing. He is faithful. Now, you know what? God is more committed to his word to you than you are even ever ready to believe him. So though, oh, I, I think it's because of my sin. Maybe I did some things wrong. That's why this thing didn't come to pass. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> if you feel you've done something wrong, repent. That's all you need to do. Repent immediately and get connected to the flow of God, God's leading for your life. Now, as God is leading you, he is leading you step by step, precept being upon precept. You know why? If God, for example, have said to you that, oh, you are going to be a king, just like he said to David. Now, you just imagine, David's life was so rough. But what happened? God's word came to pass eventually. But you know the, th the, the, the beauty of it? When God's word came to pass, David realized everything he needed for kingship has already been arranged for him unconsciously. The same thing with Joseph. Everything God said to Joseph came to pass eventually. But guess what? The road didn't look like it was going in that direction. <laughs> Praise God. So that's the same thing about your life. I want to assure you today. Everything that God has said concerning you is coming to pass eventually. Praise God. So don't fret. Keep following the Lord precept upon precept, line upon line. He is leading you to the right, you follow him to the right. He is leading you to the left, you follow him to the left. At the end of the day, every word God has said to you, you will look back and say, wow, I didn't know it. Praise God. And that's the truth. So don't, don't give up yet. Don't be scared yet. Don't, don't, don't sit back and say, oh, I wish. No, 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 no. Don't be dismayed. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Until tomorrow, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.